Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoo videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a where they now on the Olympic track legend, Evelyn Ashford. Now, if you grew up during the eighties and you follow women's track and field, you probably remember her. They called her the comeback kid because every time she would get behind in a race, she would always come back and win. This woman was a legend. When you see me run and it's right and you say, oh, did you see that? She's beautiful. That's me. That's Evelyn. <laughs> was born on April 15, 1957. She was born and raised in Louisiana. And when she performed in track and field in high school, she was so fast that the track coach didn't believe the times that she was recording. He thought the stopwatch was broken. That's how fast she was. And what was amazing about Evelyn is that she wasn't a muscular woman. She was a tiny petite woman. She didn't have any six pack abs. She didn't have any muscles. She was just naturally fast. And she never took any performance enhancing drugs. A lot of track runners during the 70s and 80s, they took performance enhancing drugs. Evelyn did, never took any drugs. She was always a clean runner. And from 1979 to 1985, she dominated women's track and field, particularly the 100 meters and the 200 meters. She dominated every event between 1979 and 1985. And she beat Flojo every time she raced her between that seven year period. And then Flojo started beating her towards the late 1980s, around 1987. And this is why a lot of people started speculating that Flojo must be taking some type of performance enhancing drugs. A lot of people speculated that Flojo started taking steroids around 1986 or 87. The reason why people say that is because before that time period, Flojo was not a dominant runner. If you go back to the early 80s, Flojo would finish second or third in all of her races. And Evelyn would beat her every time. And then it gets to 1987, and all of a sudden, Flojo starts winning all the races. And then in the 1988 Olympics, Flojo wins the gold medal in the 100 meter, in the 200 meter. And in the 100 meter, Evelyn Ashford finished second. She wins the silver medal and Flojo wins the gold medal. Now, a lot of people could say Evelyn was just getting older because at the time, Evelyn was 31 years old. And a lot of track runners and sprinters, when they get in their 30s, they start to lose a step. But at the time, Evelyn was still a fast runner. She was still running under 11 seconds in the 100 meter. But they were always huge rivals. Even though they were friends, they were always huge rivals throughout the 1980s. Now, Evelyn continued to compete in track and field until 1992. And after 1992, she retired. Today, she's 63 years old. 
She's a mother of two. She's happily married. And I'm happy to see that she's still alive and well. She was always one of my favorite track runners of all time. I think she's one of the greatest sprinters of all time. Because she did it the right way. She was clean. She never used any performance enhancing drugs. She was always a clean runner. This is why she's the most respected track and field runner in the history of sports. And I don't think she gets the credit that she deserves. I don't think she gets the accolades that she deserves. Because a lot of younger people today don't even know who she is. Now, Flojo passed away in 1998. She apparently had a seizure while she was asleep and she died in her sleep. God rest her soul, she was a beautiful woman. But I'm glad to see that Evelyn is still alive and well. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.